in the quarterfinal game of the CIF Southern Section Ford 11-man football Division VI championships, the Palomares League champions Ayala Bulldogs come into the game with an undefeated record of 11-0. They hosted the Crespi Celts, who were tied for first place in the Angeles League with an overall record of 7-3. Crespi won the coin toss and elected to receive the ball. On the game's opening drive, Crespi on second and 10 from their own 42-yard line. The South's Michael Shirley gets the handoff. The senior running back gets great blocking from his offensive line to go untouched and score the 58-yard touchdown, capping a six-play drive. Crespi takes the early lead 7-0 with 10-34 remaining in the first quarter. Moving into the second quarter, Ayala on second and 10 on the Crespi 20-yard line gives the ball to Jacob Badawi who breaks up the middle. The senior running back is able to make it into the end zone while being tackled by a Crespi defender. This ties the game up at 7 with 9-17 remaining in the second quarter. On the ensuing kickoff, Crespi's Evan Davidson returns the ball from the end zone. With the Celts' superb special teams blocking downfield and Davidson's speed, the sophomore sprints 101 yards into the end zone to put Crespi back ahead in the game, 14-7 with 9.03 remaining in the first half. The Bulldogs tied the game up at 14 on this four-yard touchdown run by Jacob Badawi to close out the first half. In the opening drive of the second half, the Bulldogs' Cole McCain holds on to the ball, and the senior quarterback takes the ball into the end zone to score from seven yards out on the quarterback keeper play. Ayala retakes the lead 21-14 with 10.42 left in the third quarter. The Celts answer back as quarterback Sloan Sanofsky unloads this deep pass to Jackson White. The senior wide receiver makes the spectacular catch in the end zone for the touchdown. Crespi ties the game up at 21 with 9.14 remaining in the third quarter. Still in the third quarter, Crespi would take the lead 27 to 21, but Ayala quarterback Cole McCain soars this pass to Taylor Evans from 13 yards out to score the touchdown. The Bulldogs regain the lead 28 to 27 with 3.52 remaining in the third quarter. Moving on to the fourth quarter, Crespi on fourth and 13 from the Ayala 20-yard line, the Celts bring in the kicking team. Junior kicker Chris Salerno splits the uprights from the 37-yard field goal to regain the lead 30-28 with 11.48 remaining in the game. However, the Bulldogs on second and five from the Crespi 10-yard line gives the ball to running back Jacob Badawi who runs the ball to the right side and with the spin move makes his way into the end zone for the touchdown. Ayala retakes the lead 35 to 30 with 357 left in the game. A big play for Crespi in the game came when Michael Nuesca gets the handoff. The junior running back somehow keeps his knees from touching the ground and score a touchdown on the 22-yard play. Crespi is successful at the two-point conversion to take the lead yet again over Ayala 38 to 35 with 209 remaining in the game. With under two minutes remaining in the game, the Bulldogs on second and 10 from their own 30-yard line, Ayala quarterback Cole McCain throws a pass and it's intercepted by Crespi's Chance Tucker. The Celts would just take a knee and run the game clock out to get the victory 38-35 in a tough quarterfinals game that saw the lead change several times. We had a chance to talk to both head coaches after the game and here's what they had to say. First thoughts, hats off to Ayala uh, and, and Coach. Uh, did a really good job. When you, you know, we, we, we saw in the film um, how explosive they were, how disciplined they were, how tough they were, and we knew it was going to be a fourth quarter game. Uh, we tried to hang in there as best we could, and, and we wanted to come down to the last minute. We knew what it would be. We talked about two things this week we needed to come in here and beat these guys. The first one was poise, and the second one was confidence. I don't know that we displayed much of either in the first half. I thought we explained a tremendous amount of both in the second half, and, and we did it. Um, th th that's a tough team, and we needed to play our best when it matters most, and we were able to accomplish that tonight. I'm, pr I'm so proud of this this team. You know, this is, uh, you know, it hurt these seniors. You know, I, I got a little choked up because uh, they came in as freshmen when I got my head coaching job, and, you know, they, they've been here all four years, and, you know, they did some things here at Ayala that haven't been ever done, you know, or at least not in a long time. And so I'm just proud of the, of the way they competed. You know, we just, uh, there was a couple mistakes that, you know, we're used to not making all season long, and we made those mistakes, and uh, whether it was special teams, penalties, 
you know, some, some mental mistakes and it's going to cost you against good football teams. This is a great character team. The seniors on this group, I mean, you know, there's, they're crying and, and just feeling terrible right now. It's because they care and they play with heart all season. They played with passion. They have fun. You know, it's, it's going to be hard to replace a team like this. The Ayala Bulldogs season ends with a record of 11 and 1, and the team makes the school's history books for the program's longest winning streak. Crespi will move on to the semifinal game and host Pacifica High School. Remember to keep up to date with all the latest prep sports action by checking out the SportsCeneTV.net website. Follow us on Twitter and like us on Facebook at Sports Scene TV. You can also follow us on Instagram and subscribe to our YouTube channel, both at Sports Scene TV One.